the swirling mist of the windswept British moor may give rise to visions of Druids or King Arthur, Queen Elizabeth or maybe Shakespeare or Sherlock Holmes. It may be nothing you can put a name to, but there's definitely a feeling, an aura of a fabled past that has inspired this kitchen. Call it romance, intrigue, mystic beauty, but it flows from the craftsmanship, the subtle details, the careful planning, and creates a sense of comfort and luxury. It's a timeless quality that is readily apparent. Its distinguished character is the result of the Grand Tour door style. Actually, two variations of the door style combine to create a whole that is truly inviting. The square edge profile provides a graceful transition between the cabinet fronts and the polished end panels and columns, while the molded edge profile blends easily with the crown and light balance trim. Recalling the ironwork details of Jacobean and Tudor designs, the lighting fixtures along with the leaded windows and the stone floor all reflect a more distant era. Drawing upon the intrinsic beauty of cherry, the classic detailing of the design is enhanced by physical distressing, burnished accents, and the lush earthy tones of the Oxford finish, making this kitchen shimmer with old world grace. From floor to ceiling, wall to wall, this kitchen is packed with ideas that beautifully combine form and function. For instance, the arch balances that grace all the open shelf units also appear in the tokek areas of the island and the hutch. They playfully repeat the bonnet pediments crowning the refrigerator and the hutch. And these two features themselves take their cues from the rusticated stone archways and window. Even the butcher block island top and the ledge of the hood pick up this graceful arc. And the corbels under the wall cabinets also evoke a variation on the same arch motif. A natural complement to all of these arches is the classic arch drawer heads that softly echo that curve. The island is a unique blend of work table and storage. The table is furnished with a scooped out shape at one end, especially designed for a convenient way to transfer your chopped foodstuffs from work surface to container, whether serving, mixing, or cleaning up. This work area will add to your culinary experience. Along with the apothecary unit for organizing small items, there is a pull-out base unit for accessible storage of bowls and other preparatory needs. The cabinetry in this island is framed by chamfered pilaster panels with beaded sides, while the classic arch drawers and trim supported by turned legs further define the furniture effect. The sideboard hutch is a particularly charming piece. Especially pleasing is the alignment between the split panels in the drawer base and the doors of the upper unit. These upper doors are themselves divided and feature both a raised panel and a herringbone veneer panel. The symmetry of the bottom section is repeated in the upper units where the herringbone inserts and the bonnet pediment culminate in a grand focal point. The hutch's ends are framed with chamfered pilaster panels with herringbone inserts. The open cabinets that flank the central unit have one inch thick shelves with front edges profiled to match the pilaster columns in the base. Both ends of the base feature pilaster columns that pick up the beaded sides seen in the island. Against the backdrop of traditional limestone backsplash tiles and a faux stone hood, there is a quartz countertop, enriched by the presence of an antique farmhouse sink, a refrigerator framed with pilaster columns and a bonnet top, and a professional range. This kitchen takes on a classic British aura. Wall cabinets with the leaded glass inserts, exposed rustic beams, and uneven walls with their aged plaster look all act to infuse the space with a sense of time-worn beauty and dignity. Among the specialty cabinets included in this kitchen, a corner carousel provides easily accessible storage space for the hard-to-reach corners. Wicker baskets in the base cabinet combine convenient storage with portability and again, sneak some of that old-world charm into the daily routine. The farmhouse sink is framed by two handy little storage units on one side a pull-out towel rack, and on the other, a spice column. Their visibility is neatly hidden behind a piece of reeded trim, which is bordered by molded pieces that match the pilaster columns of the hutch and are attached to the front surface of the unit. The nook is a refreshing addition. In one sense, it develops a kind of cloistered effect. Sequestered as it is, it provides an alternative to the taxing speed of present-day routines. Not only is the alcove visually satisfying, it's really quite versatile. Enjoy an afternoon tea with a friend or two, have breakfast here, compose a letter, or reflect in a journal, or maybe have a taste from a variety of collected wines. 
The convenient wine storage cabinets reflect the lattice inserts in the units above, rendering the storage spaces elegant and unobtrusive. It's the perfect place for stemware, for decanters, or for other serving pieces. Reminiscent of a fine study or club, the walls mix herringbone inserts with raised panels for luxurious paneled space. Reflective of England's architectural past and its rich, legendary mystique, this kitchen evokes feelings of timeless comfort and gracious living. Welcome home.